The NHL Central Division had some really strong teams in it this season, but its two best have risen to the top. And beginning tonight, we'll be facing off in a round two NHL playoff matchup. Hey, everybody, welcome to Claire and the Bench. It's your one stop shop for daily fresh hockey content. If you go ahead and hit your subscribe button right now, every single day we'll bring you in a new hockey video to enjoy. Uh, well, the Dallas Stars and the Colorado Avalanche are facing off. Game one is tonight, and we just wanted to take a look at uh, some of the things we need. We thought each team would need to do to win this series. So first up, we're going to take a look at uh, the Colorado Avalanche and what they would need to do to advance to the Western Conference Finals. That's what's on the line in this series. And I think the number one thing that the Colorado Avalanche are going to need to do to win this series is keep that big four rolling. And I am talking about Val Nishushkin, uh, Miko Ranton, and Kale McCarr, Nate McKinnon. Uh, you had Ranton and McCarr and McKinnon each had two goals and seven assists for nine points in that first round. And then Nishushkin, seven goals. Uh, I'm just going to say Dallas's D is going to have to get extremely physical. These are... Uh, track meet type of games when you play against Colorado. And, you know, I'm a little bit worried if some of these older guys on Dallas are going to be able to keep up. Uh, but again, Val Nishushkin is going to be a big part of this series. He's going to be all up in Ottinger's grill, uh, as will these guys as well. You know, Ranton's a big physical guy. McKinnon, we all know, is a horse. Uh, and again, they all love that blue paint. It's like something they love the smell of in the playoffs. They all want to be right around that blue paint. Uh, as a team, Colorado scored 22 goals in their four first round wins. That is a lot of goal scoring. Uh, as far as their defense, uh, all of their guys played really well in the first round, and I don't see that changing in the second round. Um, I even think that Winnipeg played a little bit faster pace than Dallas plays, so the game may even slow down a little bit more for the Colorado defense. You're looking at guys like Taves, McCarr, Mance, and Gerard. They all played very well in that first round against Winnipeg. Uh, I think as far as Georgiev, what he's going to need to do is just keep his head. That's it. If he stays calm and cool, I think they've got a very, very good chance at advancing to the Western Conference Finals. Uh, if he sees, you know, if he gets some clean looks at shots, he'll make the saves. Uh, he has a little bit of a problem with rebounds. So if uh, Colorado's defense is, you know, able to clean up any rebounds, jump on it, clear it, you know, freeze the puck or whatever, that's going to be a big difference maker in this series as well. But I'm expecting Georgiev and Ottinger to both have very strong series. All right, let's take a look over at Dallas and what we think they would need to do to win this series. First thing out of the gate, <clears throat> their D is going to have to stop these four guys. Nishushkin, Rantanen, McCarr, McKinnon. They're going to be coming in waves. And I personally think that for the Dallas Stars to win this series, they are going to have to capitalize on any and every opportunity given a given to them, uh, whether that's on the power play, whether that's outnumbered attacks, two-on-ones, three-on-ones on offense. you got to find the back of the net in those situations, and you got to capitalize on it, and you got to make Colorado pay. Uh, if you go down on a three-on-one and you miss the net, you know what? Colorado's going to turn and burn, and the next thing you know, they're going to be coming into your, offensive, uh, your defensive zone at 100 miles an hour, and we all know how good they are at that. Uh, I think guys like Joe Pavelski, Jamie Benn, Tyler Sagan, Mason Marshmont, they are going to need to step up their games almost 100% from that first round. Uh, they only had three points each in the first round, and I was expecting a lot more out of them. I really thought it would be those guys that led them uh, to victory. Uh, but instead, it wasn't. It was guys like Wyatt Johnston. He led Dallas. He had seven points in uh, the first round. But the problem with that is he was pretty much doing it by himself. Uh, he had a little bit of help from Jason Robertson, who also had seven points. But the problem is for Robertson, he was also a minus five in that series. Uh, so that's something he's definitely going to have to clean up. And again, a team like Colorado, they make you pay for all of your mistakes. They don't usually let you off the hook very often. So I could see uh, guys like Jason Robertson when he's out on the ice. You know what? you got to have to hope for Dallas's sake that they're able to get it out of the defensive zone and create some offense. 
Uh, as far as for their defense, they're going to need the defense to be much better in this round against Avalanche than they were in the first round. Uh, guys like uh, Heiskanen, he was a minus six in the first round. He had five points, but as a defenseman, that minus six, and again, against Colorado, uh, they don't make many mistakes in the offensive zone. So you've got to be near perfect in the defensive zone, and a minus six in the first series doesn't say that. So uh, he's definitely going to need to clean up his thing. And again, he's going to need to jump into the rush, and he's going to need to help provide some offense as well. They're going to need every goal they can get to win this series. Uh, they're also going to need guys like Rupe Hintz to step up. He had one point in that whole series against Vegas. Uh, Logan Stankoven, and Matt Duchesne, they had two points each in that series. Now, again, they came out of it with a win, so, you know, they got a couple of days to regroup. I think a guy like Logan Stankoven could have a good series for Dallas. He is small, and he is fidgety, and he is hard to track and keep track of. When he's in your uh, uh, when he's in your defensive zone, his offensive zone. Uh, so Stan Coven, I think, is going to be a guy that could play a big part in this series. And again, they're going to need these guys that we just talked about to all step up their game considerably. Uh, the defense, again, they are going to have to get very physical. They've got a good defensive core, but they're going to need a lot more physicality in this round to try to stop Colorado, especially when Colorado's breaking into their zone. They're going to need to, you know, line up three, four, five wide on the blue line. And when these guys come in, you're going to need to throw them a shoulder and slow them down. You can't let Colorado hit your zone at full speed. You will be out in a hurry. Uh, I think as far as the goaltending goes, Jake Ottinger, you know, Ottinger got better as the first round series went along as well. But I think in this series for Dallas to have a chance, Ottinger is going to have to really be on his A game. I think to, for them to win, you know, they're only going to be able to have to give up two goals a game maybe. Uh, and then that means you're going to need to score three, four, five goals to win. Uh, and as far as Dallas goes, they're going to need to step it up if that's going to be the case. Uh, they looked slow and old in the first series. I know they squeaked it out, uh, but against Colorado, they will get exposed in a hurry if they are not on their A game. So uh, that's going to do it for today's video. I just wanted to take a quick look at this series and some of the things to watch for as we're looking at the games. Uh, if you could, please hit the like button, hit your subscribe button. And as we always do here, clearing the benches, especially round two of the playoffs, let them know you're out there.